Our, our focus here at FAIR is pro-human alternatives to the issues like all the issues we've been talking about. Um, so our question to you is, what does being pro-human mean to you? And how can everyday people listening to this who maybe don't have a podcast or who don't necessarily write articles for publications, how can they adopt a pro-human approach to these issues in their day-to-day life? One of the first things that came to mind as you were finishing the question was your, um, I think it's your bio on Twitter that we're all first, be kind, we're all first drafts or something to that effect. When I think about humanity, when I think about humanness, and when I hear pro-human, I really think something along those lines. I I think about how we are all imperfect and we are all beautiful with very few exceptions. And that part of our beauty comes from the fact that we don't all have the answers. We don't all agree on the same things. We should probably shouldn't all agree on the same things. That to me is part of the beauty of us. And if we can get to a place of being more motivated by love and and less motivated by hate and anger and disdain for people that we think we disagree with, then I know that we can really open the door to future making that we have a hard time imagining coming to fruition because of how we currently see ourselves operating. So from my view, pro-human means loving oneself unconditionally and extending that same love to other people. Mm -hmm.